and welcome to a new reaction video. Yes, it's time again for a new reaction video. I was searching on the internet and I see a lot of hair fails, more bleaching fails because of these quarantine times. There are bleach fails and hair fails before quarantine, so what's the difference? Well, there are more now. There are a lot of funny hair fails, so to react on, and there will be a lot of videos for me to react on and during these videos I'm trying to give you a tip I don't know how many tips I'm going to give because I never know uh, which what the video is going to be which mistake they are going to make or if it's okay to do what they are doing so I'm not always prepared sometimes it's difficult but I see the video and every hair tip that comes up in my mind I give it to you so you don't make the same mistakes as they are. So now we are going to see it's just saying hair bleach fail. So that's the title and we are going to see what the video is about. So before we start can I please ask you to subscribe to my channel, press that notification bell. You can also follow me on Instagram and on TikTok. I react on hair fails also on TikTok so you can follow me there on TikTok. It's also the same name, Hair Buddha, uh, so there's no mixture in names. Before we start can I please ask you to go to this channel, Lee, oh, difficult name, Lee Plurde, 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 Plurde. Plurde, plur, plurde, plurde, I don't know, Lee plurde, so I, I put it <laughs> on the beat here, I don't know how to pronounce it, but go to her channel, subscribe to her channel, I see she has not many uh, subscribers, so go to her channel and subscribe, so support her. Hey guys, it's Lee, as you can tell by the title of this video, I am bleaching my hair today, I honestly have no clue what I'm going to do with it, like I'm just going to basically put bleach in areas and hope for the best. In areas? I'm looking rough and greasy right now because I am rough and greasy. I haven't showered yet. I went out last night so my bar stamps classy. Um, so yeah, I, your hair is supposed to be a little dirty when you bleach your hair. I might add some coconut oil, I don't know, but I'm just hoping and praying that I don't ruin my hair, that it doesn't look ugly. So, well, I don't know. We'll just, we'll just do no, this. No, this is not a tutorial. No. And I hope it's not a bleach fail video, but it's just, yeah, sorry about that, but I don't know. <laughs> She's Go scared. watch some other videos if you want to like, learn how to do this. Okay. Great blue! Come on! Also, I completely forgot what the lady told me how to mix things, so... <laughs> it's like mixing ratio with bleach, it's very much different. You can do one on one, to one on one and a half, one and two. It depends on the technique you are using. If it's too watery, you cannot do nice things. You have to have a nice paste to work with. Oh, I think she said do two ounces of something. So I guess we're gonna fill it up to two. I don't need that much. I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I don't know how much of my hair I'm gonna do, so. Stop putting it in the bowl if you don't have Jeez. so much. If Jeez you don't need Louise. so much, don't put it in the bowl. I think the thicker it is, is when it works more, but then the more you dilute it, it'll be less harsh, but. No. And when I got my hair professionally done, my hair took really well to bleaching. Um, so, hopefully this just, just, just goes well. Uh -huh. How many volumes are you using? Okay, um, it's like, it's like a toothpaste consistency, I guess, right now. It's okay. Okay. But she's coloring just parts. I'm gonna shut the cap on the developer because I saw one video, if you leave it open, it won't work anymore. And we're gonna save this for the future, maybe. That's really true. That's a very important tip. It's a very delicate product and it's chemical. It's a very de delicate chemical. If you let it open for a long time, it breaks off. So if you have 40 volumes, 
and they let it open for a certain amount of time, it's like 15 minutes, 20 minutes, it's not like one day, I'm telling you. It's like in minutes, if you leave it, leave it open for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, it will not be 40 volumes, it goes less. It goes to 30, it goes to 20. So the next time you use it, you think you are using 30 or 40 volumes, but actually you are using 20 because you let it open for so long. If you are opening it, mix it, close it immediately. And you have to contain it in a dry and normal temperature. So that's a good tip. Thank you. Okay, next I need to section my hair. I'm just gonna do like the under some underneath parts maybe and so that way if it goes bad I can Oh it's gonna be like an ombre effect. Top layers. Okay. Oh uh, I don't know. I wish I had, see I don't have one of those like rat tail combs. I could use the little brush thing, the end of that, but little we're not, brush so thing. I don't know. It's very difficult to do an ombre and it has to fade. Oh In a previous video I said it, don't color it horizontally, vertically, like this. I'm wondering how she's going to do it. Like do the under parts there, you know? <laughs> she has really no idea what she's going to do. I'm do real, some... sorry for like the awkward silence and facial expressions, but I just don't know what I'm doing. Do some research before you start don't know it. how this is gonna go well for me. What is she doing? Do not do this on your own, guys. Don't. Do no, don't. Take a clip, section it. That's the first thing. Okay, yeah. I'm just gonna go for it. You see, the hair well. is falling back. Take a clip. Okay. Vertically, not horizontally. Vertically! It's no turning back now. Vertically! No turning back now, guys. This is going to be... I'm like, I feel one sick. One straight line. Because I've been trying to grow my hair out and get it healthy, but... Don't I'm go so high. It. So... Now she's doing it completely. How about parts? Gosh. Oh, it's so gonna be patchy. What are you doing? What are you doing? Don't color your roots. Are you going to bleach it completely? I can't believe I'm doing this. I don't know either why you're doing this. My hair is already starting to change and it's barely been on. And the lady told me to keep it. <laughs> what is this like club? Minutes, so I hope, I hope my hair does not fall off when I take this thing off. If you put foils in your hair, it's because you want to bleach it faster uh, or melt the yellow pigments better, so it's not yellow. But if you are coloring the whole length of your hair and you're packing just the length and not the regrowth, it will be different. And also, if you are using a mil aluminium, aluminium, it's a difficult word. So if you use aluminium, don't do it like this. It's like one big clump and you have patchy result. You have to have a nice result. You have this aluminium, difficult word for me to, ex to, to say. So you're putting your hair here in the aluminium and you fold it in the middle. Oh my God, like this. No, this is very nice. Then you do it on the sides. So the hair is not, so the color is not going there. And then again on the other side, like this. And this is a nice one. And the strand of hair is evenly inside and the color is evenly inside. But if you do it like this, what is that? What is that? An alien? Don't do it like this. Don't do it like this. This is not working. This is bad. You have a patchy result. Do it like this. You know? Not this. This. Like, I don't even know if that would be cute. 
But what are you trying to do? What is your end result? It's like behind my ears right here. You can try that. But sure. this is in front of your ears and here is in the back. What are you trying to do? Okay, here, here it goes. I put, I just made too much in the bowl, so don't want to waste it. I'm using that as an excuse because I just want to bleach my hair, but... Sometimes you have to do things once in life and learn to not do them again. Yeah, that's or right. Do them differently, so this is one of those times. Enjoy. I'll do it for you guys. This is some crazy things she's doing. Those people who have like the highlights or bleached hair and it just like stops like a straight line and their roots are down and far and that's gonna be me. Hopefully not, but okay. I'm gonna try and be positive. This is a fun experience. I think it's fun to do your own hair and stuff like that. I mean, it's nice to go to a salon too and get it like professionally done and like look good, but not all of us have money to do that all the time. And it's really fun to do your own hair, so. I understand, I completely understand. I can't get under here. It's so difficult to work in the mirror. Every move is the opposite, so it's always difficult. Okay, foil time. Yeah, again. Always have your foil prepared before you do this. That would be so much easier, right? But why would I do anything easy? I don't know. Okay. Just foil it in the middle. And I love just the hair videos where they just like Take the brush and they like nicely fold it. Well, sorry, I can't do that for you. Oh, it's like it's still brown down here. <gasps> oh my gosh. It's a mess. It's a big mess. <laughs> I look like an elephant or something. An alien. Okay, so I've done two pretty big-ish chunks. Not sure, like... Should I do more? I don't know. No. It'll just, it'll just be weird, right? If I just have like this side has some blonde and that side has some blonde. But I don't know how I can do the back. I don't know how I can do the back. Like underneath. Hey guys, it's the next day and I'm just gonna show you what we're working with today. Yeah. Oh my god! Yes, there. This is so ugly. No. But today I think I'm going to try and like balayage it. I know that's risky, but I watched some videos and I know how to part my hair and I bought hair dye just in case this goes awfully wrong. But I'm going to bleach over some of these parts again. And then I got toner and purple shampoo too, so I'll just see what happens. Not again! Vertically! What are you doing? Do you have any idea what you're doing? So I got this Wella T14 toner. Always T14. And it says I need 20 volume developer, but you know, the amateur that I am at this, I did not read that or see that. And all I have is 30 and reviews and stuff say that might be too much. So of course. I hope I don't ruin my hair. If you use T14 of Wella with 30 volumes, you will lift Again, uh, the hair, you will damage the hair. 
Every time I see toner that has been used with 20 volumes and I know people at the store say you have to be used. Uh, there are hairdressers that are using with 20 volumes. But toning, the meaning of toning is correcting the tone, the level, and you have to stay on the same level. But if you use 20 volumes, again, it's coloring, it's not toning. Stop saying, I'm toning my hair. Stop saying that. If you use 20 volumes, say, I'm coloring my hair again. Just Not just, I'm toning my hair. Are you agree with that? If it's 20 or 30, you color your hair. If it's 10, it's toning. It's a straight line. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna wash the bleach out and then... It's not I'm faded, it's this. a straight line. It's gonna develop her and tone it for half an hour. Sectioning, fine sections, so it's covered everywhere. So I'm going to let the tower sit for about 20 minutes probably and then wash it and all that good stuff. I don't think it's going to turn out too bad, but if it does I have hair dye and I have bleach and toner all over my face, but the boxes keep it on for 30 minutes but then online says if I want it to come out lighter, leave it on for 10 minutes and because the longer I leave it on the darker it will come out, but I don't know. But I'll show you guys the finished results. Okay, so this is the next day. This is what we're working with so far. I do have purple shampoo and purple conditioner. Um, I don't think I left the toner in that long. And I might have to go over and bleach these parts, you know, brassy parts again. This is what we're working with right now. It's, it's okay. I feel like in person it looks better. Um, I'm not too mad about it, obviously, because I've never done this before. But definitely going to purple shampoo it and just try and get these brassy tones out. So. so the first day that I did this, I just didn't know what I was doing and kind of just put bleach random spots. That's why this side, this giant piece is like that because I didn't know what I was doing. Then the next day I was like, oh, I'll try and like balayage it. I know this is not, this is not really a balayage. Um, definitely, definitely not. But whatever it is, it, it's fine. But I just don't think I'm going to wait to post this video. Like, I'm not going to wait to purple shampoo it for a few days and then post it. So you guys can just follow my social media and then see the end results there I guess but it's not too bad now it's kind of it's just it is what it is but I don't hate it but for you guys yeah just tone probably definitely bleach over this and purple shampoo and then it will be and then will be how I want it to be so I'm I'm fine with this but it was a fun thing to do I like doing hair projects in my own hair and not spending like 300 plus dollars at the salon of course the salon will make it look better but it's fun to do your own hair and whatever you live and you learn right so sorry I'm not I had it in a bun today so it's all curly oh see you next time okay psych this is the final look because that just wasn't good what we just saw so I just made it like a light brown and I'm pretty happy with it. It's not as like harsh and whatever. I'm sorry, it's like seven o'clock here, so I have no good natural light going on. So, but yeah, here's the final look of my hair. I could not deal with what, what that was before. So nice and cute, more subtle, not too drastic. So yeah. I like the warm color, warm brown, more blonde color on the length. Was it nice? No, it was not nice. The mistake that she made was she colored on the side 
completely blonde, so this was white, so this was too high, so it's not nice. And it was very patchy, it was a straight line, so it was uneven, that's because of the foils that was taken in, in one big clump. If you put more bleach on this side and less bleach on the other side, it will not process evenly. So you have to apply it evenly to have an evenly result. It was not that bad. It was too much. If she did an ombre effect with this warm color on the length, it was nice. The curly waves, I liked it. It suits her skin. But the last one, I think it was... I believe she did a darker color over it, not so dark, but light brown or something, or dark blonde, and she did it over it, but the yellow and the red that is mixing is like, it's a greenish matte color. It was like blonde, and you swim in the swimming pool, it's coming so greenish matte result. I had the same feeling with that. If you colored the roots a little darker and you fade it out, I think it has to be a better result. If you learned from this video and you had some use of my tips, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, press that notification bell, go to her channel and subscribe to her channel, follow her, she seems nice. And you can follow me on Instagram and you can follow me on TikTok and there are other hair frills on TikTok than you see here on this YouTube channel. So for today, I'm just going to say, Chokus!